We've already seen a lot of impact on coral reefs from a number of human caused sources. Firstly, climate change has caused some devastation, a slight increase in temperature and all the things that rely on the corals, the fish, the invertebrates, even the algae can be devastated. But direct things like removing the large predators such as coral trout, which is so important and can be easily removed from whole reef areas. A lionfish very quickly proliferated through the Caribbean and have had a devastating effect on the fish there. Belize has the second largest barrier reef in the entire world. We have a wide diversity of corals here, and we also have corals that are critically endangered, such as the elkhorn coral. I'm Ronalee McKenzie, and I'm the fisheries coordinator for Blue Ventures Belize. When Blue Ventures first established its programs here in Belize, we launched a long-term coral reef monitoring program for reef health. So very soon after we arrived, we recognized the need to start monitoring the lionfish invasion. My name is Jen Chapman and I'm the country director for Blue Ventures in Belize. So the lionfish that we find here in Belize originally comes from the Indo-Pacific and it was accidentally introduced into the Caribbean in the 80s. We call it an invasive species because that specifically tells us that it is having a negative impact on the native reef ecosystem. Lionfish eat everything, including juvenile fishes and even keystone species such as parrotfish which definitely compromises the health and integrity of our coral reef here. Parrotfish will feed on the algae that is competing for space on the reef with corals. And so we know that this very, very wide diet is having a really negative impact on populations that have low down the food web on coral reefs. So it's about reducing the lionfish population below this threshold whereby it no longer has a negative impact on the reef. So in areas that are accessible to fishes, the number one actors and allies are small-scale fishers. Blue Ventures works with the Belize Fisheries Department along with other marine protected area co-managers and members of the community. Combined research led to the launch of the Belize National Lionfish Management Strategy to reduce lionfish populations across marine protected areas here in Belize. Marine protected areas not only protect biodiversity, but they also allow fish to prosper, get larger, produce more babies, which then spill over to the other fished areas. Members of the brigade get training in advanced open water to conduct the survey, which outlines the number of lionfish found in a specific protected area. We've been able to curb the amount of the invasion. We now see more smaller lionfish in, the, in our shores. The bigger ones are in deeper waters, so it's a good sign that our efforts have been fruitful. Over several years, Blue Ventures has worked closely with several cooperatives here in Belize in different capacities, one of which was to help connect these cooperatives to buyers of invasive lionfish. We started to hold outreach events regularly across the country and really trying to promote the uptake of lionfish consumption, both at home and in restaurants. Lionfish is very succulent, it's very nutritious, it's a delicacy. The lionfish is being sold locally to restaurants, to hotels, to local consumers, and we just sent our first shipment to the United States of America. Many restaurants had signed to be part of this initiative where they sell lionfish at their facilities. And in partnership, we've also engaged international buyers for lionfish. We also started working with the Belize Lionfish Jewelry Group. We knew that the fins could be turned into beautiful jewelry. For fishers to sell their fins to jewelers was going to just increase that incentive to catch lionfish. We are a women's group. We're from different coastal zones of Belize and we make lionfish jewelry. We went on a workshop in 2015. And then there's three they showed us different forms utilizing the lionfish and we did practices and we came up with the jewelry. We used the pelvic fin, the cabral fin and the dorsal fin. It takes a minimum of three days to catch the fish, then we have to dry it out, then we treat, then we make into a piece of jewelry. Our marine ecosystem is the backbone of our economy here in Belize. Our marine ecosystem supports not only our tourism industry, but it also supports our fisheries sector. 
it's been really valuable to have a regular buyer who is not as susceptible to global impacts or changes in the tourism. That is what the cooperatives really, really need in order to confidently buy, process and store lionfish at their facility. It needs to make business sense for all actors along the supply chain. It's very important to protect coral reefs, not just for their aesthetic beauty, but also livelihood. A Pacific island relying on their coral reef for their food and exports. Secondly, of course, their biodiversity and also their coastal protection. They do protect the adjacent coast from the ravages of cyclones and other storms. Marine ecosystems can be rebalanced and they can recover. We've seen it in places where fisheries have been stabilised, coastal protection has happened. Certainly when sustainable fishing has been brought into a local estuary, we have seen recovery of the habitat and the fish stocks can bounce back. So communities can play a huge role in protecting coral reefs and the life that they support. Any effort to address some of the direct impacts that are felt beyond climate change do indirectly increase the resilience of that ecosystem to climate change threats as well. By reducing a direct threat to coral reef ecosystems, as well as strengthening community-led management, the ecosystems are going to have a better chance in the variety of impacts that they face.